Hey Deviants of the Dev Nation, it's Devi, and welcome back to my channel. Now, let's talk cartoons. Today we'll be talking about Samurai Jack, and you gotta get back. Back to the best Alright, that's episode XCVII. Yes, there are two eyes now. You know your Roman noodles. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm not gonna edit that out. <laughs> Roman noodles? You know what? Let's get into the discussion, shall we? Another amazing Samurai Jack episode has come it and gone it. <laughs> this one really messed with my emotions, bruh. I can only imagine what it did to some of you who've been watching Samurai Jack since you were kids. The 90s kids, that is. I only just started watching it about two months ago and the nostalgia still managed to hit me in the fails. <laughs> we saw some old character favorites all the way from season one. Wow, Gendy, wow. <laughs> Even this piece of crap showed up. <laughs> What's his name again? Um, the, the Mongo, you know, the one that Aku summoned. Oh gosh, I hate him. <laughs> I don't really hate him, but he's a piece of crap. And while watching this episode, did you see these characters and thought, ooh, they look familiar, where do I know them from? Well, that's because you might have seen them before in some Cartoon Network classic cartoons. These two dogs, have, this one over here is from Two Stupid Dogs, that's the white one. This one, I'm not sure, but he seems like he's more of in the style of Tom and Jerry. And then this one over here, this is the Jetsons dog, bruh. You cannot forget the Jetsons dog. And then you have Robot Popeye making a small cameo in... <laughs> I appreciated that. So if you remember any of the others, I like this Tom and Jerry dog, I'm not 100% sure, please leave it in the comment section. And if you saw anybody that I didn't see, please also leave it in the comment section. It's gonna drive me crazy. This episode was basically Ashi's Redemption Part 2. It was beautifully executed and I love that Ashi has heard of so many of the good things that Jack has done in his lifetime. They were singing his praises, some more literal than others. <laughs> and Ashi was so appreciative to hear each and every one of their story. Oh gosh, that electro pop dance song though, yes! <laughs> Did you see Ashi dancing? So it turned out that Scaramouche, the Sammy David Jr. of robots, is actually still alive. I did not know who Sammy Davis Jr. was before I watched Samurai Jack Season 5, but now I get the reference. If you've been watching my Eye of the Samurai episodes, then you'd remember when I was saying thumbs up to the Samurai Jack crew for finally getting the freedom to use blood in their episodes and so forth because they now have a higher PG rating. Well, if you watch this episode, we see them take a next level with their newfound freedom with this joke. I'm good for it. Yeah, well the last guy I trusted did this to me. Oh, it's all good, Babu. Our crew will give me anything once he hears the news. Whoa, what a freak. Look like a talking penis. Deviant, I kid you not, you heard that right. Sometimes cartoons use stiff jokes, you know, jokes that aren't really that funny. But this one made me laugh so hard. <laughs> oh gosh, if you got that, drop a like. <laughs> He tried calling Aku to let him know that Jack lost his sword, but he failed to do so again. This is his second time trying to call Aku and having the phone just, you know, not getting through. The first time was when he made his first appearance, but this time was because of the noise in the background and Aku is just so impatient. <laughs> Let's go back to these guys. They said something that really stuck with me and please ignore my dog in the background if you're hearing him. If he is ever in need, we will be there. Thank you. I have to go. What if there's going to be a huge fight scene? Well, a huge fight basically between Aku and all his minions and then Jack and all his friends. You know, they're going to combine and then fight each other. Of course, Jack and Aku is going to battle each other. No one can battle Aku except Jack. That's what I want. By the way, I still stand by my theory that at least one of the daughters of Aku is still alive and then and that I want the High Priestess to be killed by Ashi. Yeah. Speaking of the daughters of Aku, 
Ashi's new look though, oh yes, I'm digging this new outfit and I love to see her smile, but yeah, I'm digging this new outfit, this leafy nature outfit, you do you boo, I'm not sure if the outfit that she had on before was actually a bodysuit, you know, like a lot of people were saying, or if it was some kind of ash from being burnt, because if you remember this scene, the reason why I'm saying this is if you remember the scene where the high priestess put Ashi in what seemed to be burning coal, gosh dang, this witch does not deserve kids. Why is her womb, why is her womb so fertile? She's just gonna keep having kids after kids if someone doesn't kill her. I hate her. Now, let's talk about the mysterious green samurai. I was so wrong about him on my, on my list of characters that I hate. He's right there after the high priestess. He's trying to force Jack to commit suicide to end his life and trying to force him to believe that he's failed. But speaking from an artist point of view, I love the way they executed this idea of Jack committing suicide. I knew something like this would have happened eventually where Jack feels the pressure and he can't take it anymore. I'm just glad they chose a more epic way of portraying this and instead of showing him tying a belt to a tree or something whack like that. This scene was definitely dark, but understandable. And I'm also glad that Ashi came through and saved the day and Jack killed that bastard samurai. Oh gosh, when Jack saw Ashi, he was like, I like your hair. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so cute. But not implying anything for all you guys who want Ashi and Jack to be in a relationship. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at you. <laughs> so guys, the quest, the quest begun. Only four episodes remain. I, I'm sad, but excited at the same time. I'm sad that it's coming to an end, but I'm excited because I want to see how it unfolds. So at this time of the video, at this point of the video, Deviants, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think of the episode? Do you like Ashi's new look? Eh? <laughs> Drop a like on this video, then leave your comment in the comment section down below. That's what it's for after all. And the shout out of this video goes to Sean Tross. Thank you so much for watching my videos, especially my Eye of the Samurai videos. You know I appreciate it. Thank you, Deviant. Thank you so much. And if you want to get the shout out in my next video, literally all you have to do is like this video, all right? And then comment down below subscribe and turn on notifications it's not that hard see i'm done i'm done in less than 10 seconds <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching my video please go around and watch my other videos because this is the end of this video Bye bye thank you for watching my video today if you're new to my channel Hi, I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I upload videos all the time on this channel, so if you don't want to miss my next video, be sure to subscribe. And speaking of videos, did you watch my last video? If not, don't worry, I got you fam. It's right here. Just go ahead and click on it, watch the video, like and subscribe. Why not? See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>